Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jesse Hoff. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to replace the belts on a 1994 Mercury Villager. Uh, so what I did here, I just took the right uh, passenger side wheel off and you take off this little um, uh, rear well sort of thing and uh, you can access the belts really easy from there. You can obviously see the belts are really cracked and and what's been alerting me to this problem is um, every time I start up the car it squeals and uh, just indicates that the belts are worn and loose and I thought maybe I could tighten them but after getting underneath here it's pretty obvious that they need to be replaced so I'm going to locate the parts and we'll see if we can get it off. And just a couple other side notes that um, piece of plastic that was in the rear well uh, comes off three bolts, one bolt's right there, other bolt's right there and there's one other bolt right there. You gotta loosen up to get that off. Uh, once again, that's a tensioner right there for one of the belts. There's the alternator tensioner for the other belt. And if you come up here, you can see right down there is a tensioner for the third belt. There's three belts. And it's usually a pretty good idea, I guess, to replace all three. So that's what I'm probably gonna do. And so regards to the belts, we're going to do the one closest to us first. We're going to take that one off. So we're going to get this tensioner up here. And what I've been doing is, um, you can see in there, unscrewing that counterclockwise. And it was kind of stuck, so I WD-40'd it a lot and um, just hammered it down. And uh, it definitely got looser. And this, bolt, this belt is now almost loose enough to pull off. So I'm going to do that belt first, then the alternator belt and then the serpentine belt. All right, so I'm on to the alternator belt and I got that off. Um, what you have to do though is you have to loosen up the chain tensioner. You have to loosen up the bolt right here on the alternator. And there's another bolt up here that holds the alternator. You gotta loosen that one too. Um, do not try to just loosen the tensioner uh, without loosening those bolts first. You might bend it. Um, as you can see, the alternator belt is off. Now I'm gonna work on the serpentine belt. All right, third belt came off pretty easy. Uh, just keep in mind that you're turning this screw right there in the center of the frame clockwise to make this pulley come down. Um, you're screwing into this insert to make that pulley come down, so you need to turn it clockwise, and that'll loosen up the belt. Um, it's pretty shot. <laughs> this is the belt I was really worried about, and uh, it's really cracked, and it's probably gonna go pretty soon. The problem I'm running into right now is my tensioner on my alternator. It's frozen up. I can't really turn it, so I've been WD-40 in it, and uh, hope they'll be able to break it free. My All right, first belt's on. That went on pretty easy. Just um, you know, thread it the way. Just remember the way you put it, and put it back on the same way, and you just tighten that bolt up. Remember, you're turning that counterclockwise to uh, tighten the belt. And uh, the alternator is um, a little bit more complex. You have to remember to tighten this bolt first and you're keeping that bolt loose right there keep that bolt loose and then you then you turn the tensioner bolt and that'll tighten your belt in regards to tension um, you now you read different stories um, about tension here um, I think that belt is a little too tight you know you got to measure it looking for I guess approximately like half an inch of play um, maybe to an inch from all the way down to all the way up. Yeah, I'm gonna loosen that belt up just a little bit, I think. And then, um, then remember to tighten the alternator bolts. One up here, then one up there. All right, final belt went on there pretty easy. And remember, just gotta tighten it up back over here. And now we're gonna start the car up, see what happens. Make sure, you know, everything's tight and secure and everything looks good before you start the car. Um, tension wise, you know, I've just been doing like about half an inch of um, play and uh, I think in regards to that, you know, you really want your belts probably looser than tighter. Huh? You know, if it starts squealing and once I start the car up, then I'll tighten the belts up. Alright, we're gonna run it for about five minutes. And then I'll uh, recheck the tension. <laughs> 